Hi guys, I'm James of Bespoke Airsoft and welcome back to another video. And in this video we're taking a look at the KWA Gas Blowback MP9. Yes, this is nothing new but I think it's something that I haven't covered on the channel before and being the big Katie Gray stockist that we are, uh, it's one that I get asked about quite a lot on the emails so I thought I'd just chuck it in a video and then we can direct the people to the video for the extra info. This is the KWA Gas Blowback SMG which is the KMP9 or the MP9 to you and me. The KMP9 comes in two variants. You have the KMP9 variant which comes with the uh, molded in uh, front grip or you have the KMP9R, which comes with a rail section on the front there. And they obviously uh, make them available in different colours. Uh, they're rebranded by a lot of different companies. You've got KWA, you've got ASG, there's a couple others, which I cannot remember to the top of my uh, front of my name. But you'll, the most you'll know the most is KWA, which are the ones that come unbranded. They have KWA and KMP9 on there. And then the other one is the ASG one, which is the ASG MP9 which has all the correct B&T markings on there. It's an MP9 gas blowback SMG. It shoots semi and fully automatic, and the bolt reciprocates as it's fired. If you're fully aware with gas blowback guns, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's completely made of polymer on the exterior, but it does have metal components with the bolt and the barrel assembly, uh, the rail that's on the side here. The magazine, of course, is metal barrel, like I said. Uh, there's a couple of like components like buttons and latches, which are metal. Uh, but the stock, the upper and the lower half of the MP9 is made of a polymer material. For fire controls, it's very right-handed friendly, unfortunately. We've got the magazine release, which is found only on the left-hand side. Press that in and we can remove the magazine. The fire selector is a push-through design, so on the left-hand side as it's pushed through, it's got one red dot, which means semi-auto. You push it through to the right-hand side, it'll have three red dots, which means full auto. The bolt release is found on the left-hand side, much like a pistol. And as we press that down, the bolt uh, moves forward. Obviously when it's empty, the bolt will lock to the rear. Magazines, I believe they're a 48 or a 50 round magazine. Um, I think they're 48 from memory. And you can also get the shorter 20 round magazines, which obviously are a lot shorter. Why you want to do that, I don't know, because you do go through ammo with these things quite well. On the MP9, or the KMP9 even, you've got this molded in front grip, which is very comfortable. Uh, with the KMP9, you have the rail where you can put any grip or torch or laser or anything like that on there that you want. You also have a rail section at the top here where you can put accessories. Top rail section where you can put optics, anything like that. They will also accept a uh, an MP9 style suppressor, which um, is a quick lock design. You just push it on there, screw it up, and it's tight. The stock is folded with the single button on the bottom here. We press that in, and then we can fold the stock over and it does actually clip in, so it doesn't go anywhere. It's got a slight relief cut out on the uh, the mold there, so as you're holding it with a grip on there, it does clear the thumb and it makes it a little bit more comfortable for you. The KMP9 does not have a functional latch safety uh, like other uh, SMGs and gas blowbacks. You've actually got a trigger style safety on here, so you've got a little section here that you push in, which allows you to pull the trigger back all the way, Obviously, without doing that, it doesn't allow you to fire. Much like a Glock pistol, if we let the bolt forward here, we're able to test the uh, the trigger for you. Let me just turn this round. So the trigger, small amount of take up before we get to the brake. There's the brake. Got more reciprocate, and the reset is right there. Not the best trigger out there, but by far not the worst. Very comfortable indeed to shoot. The first thing you'll notice when opening up your MP9, KMP9, whatever you want to call it, and putting the mag in and, and having a feel for this thing, the front half of the grip here is very square. So what you'll see, you'll, you'll definitely feel these two ridge lines in your hand, but it's not something that you don't get used to once firing it. It is a very comfortable SMG to shoot just because it's so small. The stock has a lot of purchase on it in your shoulder, so it's very comfortable. With that in the shoulder, your eye tends to line up quite nicely with the sights and the, and the rail. If you want to put a red dot on there, make it easy for you. So it's nice and comfortable to shoot, really manoeuvrable. It's not heavy at all for its size. 
but then if you did want to latch that in, you can just carry it around as the, you know, the typical bad guy going out of a James Bond movie or something. Um, I think this did feature in some James Bond movies. Um, and you can use it like that. You can get holsters for these things, and I say that, you can get real deal holsters for these things, which are like a quick latch design. From what I can remember, they do need a slight bit of modification to fit the Airsoft MP9, um, but it's nothing that, that you can't do easily with basic basic tools. So let's get this in chronode. On the chrono test, as always, I'll be using 0.2 gram BBs from Aries. Uh, green gas in the magazine. These are renowned from being a little bit warm the first time that you gas them up and fire them, and then they do tend to settle down. Um, so some of the first shots sometimes can be about 360 and above, and then they do sort of settle down around the 340, 350 mark. You can also get downgrade bolts for these things, as well as valves to change out in your standard bolt to reduce the power in the warmer months. Point to ground BB's green gas in the chrono test, and then we're gonna take it outside. We're gonna shoot it at 15, 30, and 40 meters with point three ground BB's, and I won't have messed with anything at all. It is as it is out the box. Um, of course, if you were to uh, mess around with the hop, you will get better results. As always, I only have about five minutes with these things outside as I shoot them. Um, but we'll get to that first, and then we'll come back on camera and tell you exactly what I found with the KWA KMP9. Laddie Crowner. 15 metres, 0.3 gram BBs, this should be easy. He says. First full auto. Easy peasy, let's go back. So we're now at 40 metres away with the KMP9 from KWA. Or it's better known as the MP9. And 0.3 gram BBs, we know that that target, if you haven't seen in the previous videos what you're playing at, first of all, go watch our previous videos you'll have known how small this target is. It's about half the size of a regular sized human being. You know, six foot, so you're probably talking about three foot, three and a little bit foot high. But let's see if we can hit it. Um, this is a hard task for most rifles, especially when you've only spent five minutes with them, but 0.3 gram BBs, as it is out of the box, let's see if we can hit it. So we're getting some hits. I could probably do a bit more hop, so the hop does need adjusting, especially with the use of the point threes. And I think if we had a bit more hop on there, again, would be a bit more predictable, but you guys know I like to take these things as they are out of the box. Um, it's pretty flat for point threes. Again, that target is very small. If it was a human sized target, we'd hit it pretty much 80 90% of the time. But let's get back in the shop and we'll uh, talk about it some more. Before we go back in the shop, we'll just take a quick look at this as it is outside. KMP9. KWA, got manufacturing tile on there, you see the bolts held open because we fired the last round. This is the version with the grip, you can also get the KMP9 in the uh, format which is the KMP9R which has a normal 20mm rail at the bottom here so you can put whatever grips you want on there or nothing if you don't want it. Stock folds, clicks into place, 
the iron sights aren't the best but you're probably going to put a red dot or something on there anyway with the uh, stock folded it does give you a bit of thumb relief there for holding it so it's nice and comfortable you could take the stock off if you wanted to but it's very nice and easy to shoot very loud rapid on full auto I think it's a 48 round 50 round mag so plenty of BBs there but let's uh, let's get back inside so as I predicted there, the first few shots are going to be a little bit warmer in the 350 to the 360 range and then as I shot a few rounds through it, it did start to come down and sort of level out about 340, 350. Um, you can get down grab bolts for these things if your sight does not allow that type of FPS variant. Um, you can also use lower power gases. I was just using regular WE 2X green gas in this, um, which you absolutely love to bits. It's a little bit warmer inside today, obviously because we've got the heating on it, it's a bit cooler outside. But in the workshop where I did the chrono test, it was warm. We've got the heaters on in there. The guys are doing two-tone, other bits and pieces. So it was very warm. Um, probably say about 16 to 18 degrees uh, Celsius. Then we took it outside, 15 meters. You'd have seen that I took a few shots. I was smacking the, the target, and then I tried to move on to the little disc target, which is about this big. It's, it's you know twice the size of a, of a head standing on, on top of each other. Um, as you've seen from previous videos, if you haven't already, go and watch them. That target is very small. Um, you know, if I was to stand back, you know, the, the, the top of the target comes to about here. So if you just put that in relation to how I'm shooting, it is a hard target to hit, especially at longer distances. As I moved out to 40, 15, 30 meters, not a problem at all. As I moved out to 40 meters, you'd be hitting a human sized target. No ifs or buts about that. If you adjusted the hop unit perfectly for the point threes that you were shooting, you would get better results, of course. But I think you would be much better with the KMP9 moving to an even heavier BB like a point four and above. When I owned one of these years ago, I used to run point fours in mine, and the range and accuracy out of this thing is just absolutely astonishing to the point where a gun that's got a barrel this big should not be able to perform the way that it does. But that has always been the quirk and performance of the gas blowback mp9 platform it's probably one of the most seen and used smgs out there on the field because it's not massively expensive for what it costs the magazines do get pricey now and again um but the performance out of it is great and it just works you know there's so many smgs out there that are just absolutely rubbish um but you know cowboy seem to do it quite well we don't have an mp7 we, we, we haven't stopped it the cowboy mp7s for years now um, to try so I can't quite remember what they're like but I know the MP9s and the CZ Scorpions are very good indeed um, so the performance out of this thing is absolutely astonishing if you're looking to get into gas blowbacks especially SMGs and move away from pistols I think this would be the perfect platform to choose if you're new to the platform um, it's, pro it's probably going to be the most easiest for you to use um, the controls and everything are dead easy to find um, it's folded down so it's nice and small. The magazines are quite generous with their gas efficiency and they hold about 48 rounds double stack. Um, one thing you do have to remember, just like on all KWAs, is you can pull this little follower down here and it will stay there. Obviously, when you've filled it with BB, just make sure you press that button at the bottom. Obviously, don't let it shoot up like, uh, like you can do. Press that button at the bottom to make sure it feeds. It feeds every mag every time. I shot about three or four mags doing the... Um, one for the chrono with the point twos, one for the uh, 15 and 30 meters test. Um, so that's two mags, and then the 40 meters test, which is three mags. And each time I just topped the gas up um, and it fired all shots with more to go. I think you could probably get about two magazines worth of BVs for the amount of gas that's in the magazine. So this is a tried and tested method for those gas blowback SMG users out there. It's a perfect platform to get into gas blowback SMGs and rifles. Um, regardless of, of what you've been looking at and it's probably one of the most usable platforms gas operated out the box um, that has the full auto capability because when you get into full auto stuff with gas playbacks normally that's where it all falls apart um, you know pistols tend to do it best but the KMP9 and the KMP9R have no problems whatsoever in stock right now on Bespoke Airsoft bespokeairsoft.co.uk I hope if you've watched this video and you're thinking about getting a KMP9 you get it from us Bear in mind, if you have seen it cheaper as well, you can always do the price match to us. Um, but they're not expensive at all for what they are. We do have the spare magazine in stock as well if you need them. I'll put the link in the description down below. Thanks for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one.